Welcome to Northwoods Unitarian Universalist Church. My name is Susan Hammond, and John and I have been members here for almost 13 years, and I've served adult RE, stewardship, and stuff as needed for the last year or so. I think I've been mostly a cheerleader. This church is a place for compassionate community, spirited searching, and courageous actions. We welcome all who seek these, whether you're a newcomer or <coughs> whether you're a newcomer just feeling us out to see what we're about, or a longtime member who remembers what it was like to be in the sanctuary and are so looking forward to being together back beneath the round window. If you're visiting or new to Northwoods, please stay after the service for at least a few minutes to introduce yourself and ask any questions you may have about Northwoods. If you would like to receive our weekly newsletter or get more information about Northwoods, you can either leave your contact information in the chat or email Reverend Sarah. The address is being posted in the chat now. We have a couple of announcements. Save these dates. October 3rd, Adult RE on Zoom will feature the hows and whats of our hybrid service auction on November 6th. That same day, those at church can visit the service auction table outside to start getting signed up. The next Sunday, October 10th, is the return of the chili cook-off, which the Beacon Bits, watch the Beacon Bits in Facebook for details. Visitors, we're glad you found us. If you'd like to learn more about our church, Unitarian Universalism, or what it means to be a member of Northwoods, you're welcome to attend our meet and greet after service and bring those questions. Meet and greet will be held in a breakout room immediately following the service. Ah, and now a word from our service auction team. Okay, always in beta. <laughs> hey, Monica, are you excited about the Northwood service auction being back in the sanctuary on November 6th? I sure am. I love the service auction. But you know, I have an adorable baby now, so I just can't make it to an in-person event. No problem. This year's event will be hybrid. So everyone can enjoy the fun, whether you're at the Northwoods, uh, in the Northwood Sanctuary, or in your own sweet home. Hybrid? How does that work? Well, we're still working out some details, but seating at the church will be limited and food will be bring your own, no potluck. And no crush to get signed up for popular events either. What's great for people like you joining from home, all bidding and sign-ups will be done online. So you'll have an equal chance to get it when a service basket, a service, a basket or an event as someone sitting at the center table. I like the sound of that. 
A couple of other things are new this year. We'll have a two-hour preview on Friday evening and Saturday morning before the auction. You can stop by the church, see the fabulous decorations and the fabulous baskets, and get your picture taken in the photo booth. That sounds great. I'll be able to see what's in all the baskets. The official catalog will also be out a week before the auction. And I hear that the silent auction bidding will start early. I can't wait to see all the fun items. With the catalog going out early, we need to get those contracts in as soon as possible. So how do we do that? Look for links in the Beacon Biz and the church website starting this coming Wednesday. There are three different links. One, to register for the service auction. What are the other two? For service donations, one link for items and services, and a different one for parties, events, and signups. For more details on the hybrid service auction, attend a special adult forum on Zoom after church on October 3rd. I can't wait. Bye. Speaking of newest members, let's take one minute to greet our neighbors, which works best if your screen is set to gallery view. You can offer your welcome by waving, commenting in chat, or saying a quick hello by turning your audio on briefly. As we greet each other, please, keep up, <coughs> please help us keep accurate records of attendance by commenting in the chat with your name, if you're comfortable doing Laura. so, and the number of folks watching together on your screen. Hi, Hello, Jillian. Hello, everybody. Good morning. 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 Hair done, makeup, everything. Good morning, everyone. I'm Reverend Sarah, the minister here at Northwoods Unitarian Universalist Church. And for those I have not had the chance to meet yet, I hope I will soon. Today we are having one of our Northwoods Reflections services where we hear from several members of the Northwoods community. This month we have been exploring two of our sources of Unitarian Universalism, the direct experience of transcending mystery and wonder, and humanist teachings, which counsel us to heed the guidance of reason and the results of science. Just a quick word about our reflection speakers today. We'll be hearing from Takis Bogdanos, who is one of our 2020 new members. Look forward to welcoming him back to the sanctuary, possibly for the first time. Uh, Takis moved away from his native Greece in his 20s. He lived in New York, he worked as a chef, and then found his life's passion in clinical psychology. We'll be hearing from Kasha Montgomery, who you might recognize from her appearances singing with the folk choir. Kasha will be bringing us some wisdom from her career in nursing, as well as from the wild world of parenting. We'll be hearing from Robert Case, who describes himself as a happily married bonus grandfather. He has had MS for 22 years and says it is still frustrating and will be publishing his first book in December. Fun fact, Robert and his spouse Sarah Moser were the first new members to join Northwoods when I arrived. 
We'll also be hearing a poem from Susan Powers, a musician, poet, uh, founder of Woodlands Test Prep, mom to two young adults, and an instrumental part of the worship arts team. And then lastly, we'll be hearing from Susan Blackmore, who needs no introduction to any family who has had a child in our spirit play class for the last decade, if not longer. Artist, teacher, lifelong learner, she brings all of those identities to her message today. Thank you to all of our members for sharing your gifts with us. Let us enter into the spirit of worship with these words. What if everything went according to plan? At first, we might accomplish more of what we think we need to accomplish. And it may seem less stressful at first, being able to anticipate what happens next. But after a certain amount of time, and that amount would vary from person to person, the one's comfortable predictability would become less comfortable. It would become boring. If we always know what happens next, we lose the joy of surprise. Serendipitous experience and the excitement that comes from anticipating the unknown. Friends, let us gather with open, curious hearts, ready to explore the unpredictable, learn from its wisdom, and embrace its beauty. Come, let us worship together. We light the chalice, the symbol of our Unitarian Universalist faith, as a beacon of hope to all who seek justice, dignity, and compassion, and in celebration of the life and tr <coughs> of truth and meaning that we share together. Set your screen to gallery view and hold up your lit candle for all to see. As you look at each other's faces, appreciate the community that shares this small but precious ritual. Mm -hmm. 